So I don't want to go too much into who, why, when, and where, but no, can you take that. us back? We, we, ask me whatever okay. you want. Show okay, no okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, hey, this is an interview listen, right listen. here. This is an interview. <laughs> you, you know I don't do no interviews, bro. And this is the first This is the first interview I did since I was home. Right? Yes, sir. So look, this is the first interview, bro. You can ask me anything. Nobody else ain't getting this, bro. This Say Cheese TV, yeah. nigga. <laughs> you tripping. Facts. So... <laughs> so when when you when you got um I don't want to say jumped but when you well, I don't want to say beat up but when you got you know jumped in the studio with the Montclair jacket on and all that what was that about? That was about man truthfully cuz nobody know that was about me taking some paper man. That was about you know me hitting a lick. Wow, on your yeah. own people? On, on a dishonorable tip on my behalf, man. You know, let's get that out there, man. That was something disloyal that I did. You understand what I'm saying? Behind mm -hmm. closed doors, and you know, it's all over with now. I don't really want to, uh, you know, bring up any names on the situation because I'm out the contract with that whole label and I don't want to shed no light or get nobody a buzz or nothing. But, uh, you know, uh, that that whole situation is over with, but it's like, uh, I, I did some disloyal things over there at that camp, and it was like, um, you know, I, I could almost say I deserve that. You feel me? That's real. So when you look back at it, is it like, yo, I, I, I regret doing that? Because they could have took your life. Yeah, you yeah, know, money, man. That's a serious thing. And it's thing. selfish. It's, it's selfish, man. With, with me having a family out here and all that, it's selfish. You understand what I'm saying? Just me me going out for self and, oh, I'm about to get this bag right now. Not thinking of the, you know, consequences. Like, damn, these people know where I live at. These people know this. They know that. It's like, damn, like, I'm just, that's just so disloyal of me. You know what I mean? And so selfish of me. But it's like, you know, that that's... Hey, hey, Sean, that's when I was in a bad state, man. I was getting so high. It was bad, man. So it was like, I probably would have took something from my brother, man. I was real bad. I was down bad on my dick, bro. So yeah, uh, to piggyback off that situation, man, that was like an uh, in-house. It was actually an in-house situation, Sean, whereas though, you know, uh, it was like a big brother situation, man, whereas though it was supposed to be in-house and, you know, somebody in the camp actually uh filmed that and it wasn't supposed to be out and um it wasn't even supposed to be filmed like you know uh i want to say this i want to say uh I, I i took something from somebody that was that i wasn't supposed to be taking some something from you understand what i'm saying and that put me in a bad right. position you understand what i'm saying to the point like they didn't want to do nothing they didn't want to hurt me they didn't want to you know kill me but it was like you know they wanted to you know send a message to me like you know what i mean that, and and that was I also want to say that was two that when the footage came out it was two years prior to uh when when it actually got released they held on to that footage you get what I'm saying right so, okay so, so okay if the, if the footage was released in 2015 I guess it happened in what 2000 the end of 2013 yeah. So that footage okay. was held on until after real when popped off and you know my songs popping. I'm 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 doing powerhouse and all that. That's when they wanted to uh release that footage at the time when I was at the peak. You feel me? So they they were trying to tarnish. Mm, okay. My, yeah, you see what they tried to do. So it's like you know what I mean. But that uh, it wasn't even supposed to be filmed. That was actually supposed to be you know in the camp and you know what I mean. It was never supposed to get out or nothing like that. So you know what I mean. It's, it's no bad. How, how much? No bad blood with them neither. It's no, it's no bad blood with them. How much money would you say that that you took? Uh, I, man, yeah, I, I took it. I took a little fifty ball. So man, I, I took fifty thousand. You know, man, what that's, I mean? that's that's that's. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Um, yeah, like I said, I was it's down good bad. That you... I was down bad, man. On my dick, getting super juiced up, super zanied up. I was just, you know, crazy in my addiction, man. And it's like, you know what I mean? That's one of them times when it was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta either get right or I'm gonna lose myself. You feel me? Right. And then after that, you know, it was another situation when you was in a. Uh, like a was it Burger King or some shit like that? Yeah, McDonald's. Nigga, nigga, line me up. At, nigga, line me up at McDonald's. 
But based off the video, it looked like you and him knew each other. Like he was a little older than you. Like it was personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually a setup. That was a setup with, with some other people that I was fucking with that I wasn't supposed to be fucking with. I'm talking about D, this not even, this wasn't even in-house. This wasn't nothing to do with the camp or none of that. And it was a business deal. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, I did a lot of nut shit, man. And, and I'm going to go ahead and admit, right here on Say Cheese, man. I didn't hit a million licks, man. I didn't did shit that, you know what I mean? To some people, man, and it's like, you know, when shit came back, it was like, yo, this gotta be karma, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? What's what's surprising to me is in Philly, if it was anybody else, they would have been canceled. You know, they couldn't have put out another record. But you keep prevailing after every L. You get out of jail and you find other ways, creative ways to get back relevant again, right? Yes. How do you do that? Like, cause no, Philly is a, is a is a tough city. All my family there, there. I know everything that go on. You can't continue to take L's in Philly and keep rapping. But for some reason, you know how to wiggle out of every situation. <laughs> Spade called me Cooley the Cat, and now I see why. Cause I'm on my ninth life, but I'm not a feline. All you rappers remind me of Fendi mixed with feet. Oh man, see, it's like it's the, it's my heart, man. It's my heart. It's my heart, man. And you got to want this shit, too. You got to want it. I know my worth, bro. I'm not going to settle for nothing less than what I'm worth, man. I'm going to go out there and get them M's, man. I'm not stopping with just being hot in Philly, just being hot in New York, just being hot in Jersey, just being hot in Delaware, just being hot in Virginia. Fuck no, bro. I'm going to carry this shit all the way out, bro. You hear me on my live snapping? That shit be from the bottom of my fucking heart.